guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new here this is a relatively new channel this is kind of to bring you awareness about all kinds of things to do with crafting with your business with sublimation DTF um, eco solvent all that kind of stuff and it is totally honest and is totally my opinion I am NOT a professional I do do this um, for my living um, as my as my small business as I'm trying to grow it but you guys I had to make this video so I don't want to I'm not a negative person I'm pretty much a positive person but I had to had to had to share this experience with you guys because I never ever want anybody to experience the different things that I've experienced in, since July so you guys um, if you've never heard of DTF printing, as you can see the title, this is all about DTF. And I'm trying to prevent people from making the same mistakes I did. So, I um, DTF printing is direct to film transfer. So, basically, it is, it is printing. And you can convert a printer. You, there's all kinds you can convert now. We'll get into that in a second, maybe later. Um, it, it prints on a film. You apply the powder adhesive to the back of it, and then you have to cure it in the oven. Um, or if you have an all-in-one, then, then it'll do that for you. But a um, few things if you guys didn't know. I, I myself inquired about this a long time ago. I thought it was so fascinating uh, because I have a friend um, that got one, and I was fascinated by it. I thought, you know, because I've been doing sublimation for a while, and sublimation is awesome, but you are limited because you can't print on black. Um, you, it doesn't show up in dark colors unless you're bleaching. And then obviously it shows up because sublimation doesn't print white. It only appears in the absence of white. So obviously it's not going to show up in darks. So I wanted to get into something aside from vinyl because I, um, at that point in time, I didn't even know about the Roland. Um, other than my dad, he's a sign maker and, and he has the old school version of the, the cut the cutter but not the print and cut so anyway this isn't about that but i i saw her dtf printer i'd never heard of it i thought it was really cool and i watched it and, and yeah it's kind of slow <laughs> it's not at that point in time i didn't have the goals to make transfers and things or know enough about it i didn't when i get ideas sometimes i just jump on them and i don't do the research and so i thought okay i did watch a few videos everybody in youtube is trying to sell you on them like the people sometimes they partner with companies things like that there are some people that give honest feedback honest reviews but the people were all like talking about their um small desktop size printers and how awesome it is and changes the game and so i thought okay i'm gonna do it I went back and forth for um, actually like a month or so debating the price. Um, I do order on Alibaba because I order, you can save a lot of money ordering tumblers, things like that. But let me tell you with Alibaba, you have to do your research. You have to have the right people that you buy from if you're going to go that route. And there is a guarantee. Like when they tried to sell me the printer, they wanted um, me to do it through them. And I said no because... Um, upon buying it I said if it doesn't show up then I have nothing you know there's nothing there's no guarantee so at least if it shipped and it didn't make it my way then I would get my money back they have a guarantee with that so always make sure if you do purchase from Alibaba that the vendor sets it up through Alibaba that way you have that tracking you have that information but okay so let's get into the printer this is a printer and I'm not gonna knock brands I'm not gonna this is not to bash other companies out there this, I've learned so much about this baby in the last several months. I've learned so much from talking to DTF distributors. We're talking big commercial size industrial printers. We're not talking about these little things. We're talking about the huge things. Some stuff you need to know about that. Because I wanted to jump the gun, get into that, get one of those printers. You guys, I work out of my basement. You have to have a place to vent it. It has to be controlled humidity, controlled moisture. It has to, um, it is a huge price and they do require pretty much daily maintenance. We're not talking maintenance like the little ones. We're talking big boy maintenance. We're talking, they go down quite a bit. And unless you're a tech, tech person that knows these printers, then, then every single salesperson, even though they want to sell me one, told me, don't do it. People that run companies, that do this for a living, that like make big money, told me don't do it. Don't do it because 
I will regret it because it is a big investment. We're talking like I'd have to take a huge loan out. You guys would have, I mean, some of you might have that money, but they can run $18,000. They can run 20, 26. I mean, they're like humongous things. They're printing the giant rolls. So anyway, that was just another story. I just wanted you guys to know that backstory about the huge industrial printers. They have to be able to fit in your house. My friend got one um, and she has like every machine possible and she couldn't fit the um, dryer, like dryer shaker combo through the doorway. So she had to exchange the 24 inch one, even though her printer is a 24 inch DTF printer, she had to change it out and get the 13 inch because she couldn't fit it in the doors. Also, your amps, your, your like your voltage, your electricity, you know, it, it would, I would all have to be rewired in my um, house, like where I'm working to do it because otherwise it's not strong enough. It's not high enough. And most houses, most properties like that are not equipped with that, like 200 amp. So that's another thing. Um, there's so much in that. I've learned so much. I'll try to make a video another day all about that. This isn't about that. This is about my experience with this printer. So I, like I said, I wanted to jump into getting a printer. I wanted to be able to print at home, make beautiful things, you know, do all of that on the stuff. And I got this printer in July, but I knew I was going to be out of town because let me tell you, I follow the guidelines. I follow the rules. I want to keep things like brand new because it's my investment. I bought this in July, I, at the end of July. I did not officially take it out of the huge box and it shipped overseas. I did not take it out of the huge box and set it up until um, pretty much the very end of September. Because, and it's fine, as long as the ink's not in it, it's fine. Once you put that ink in it, you have to go and do daily maintenance. So let me show you this. This is my printer um, when she wants to work. <laughs> um, but it's got like the ink tank is here like w with the inks they pop out um, and you fill them and they have specialized ink and you have to run maintenance on them every single day because if you don't your white ink will get clogged and this over here on the side is actual ink tanks and every day you got to come down you got to do a print head clean and you got to check this and shake them that way the ink doesn't get stuck because the white ink will ruin your printer it will completely ruin it but aside from that i bought this printer you guys i bought this printer with the hopes that i was just going to get this going make these shirts make this money um and be able to experiment with things on my own now i'll tell you the software is totally different it's pretty easy it's not quite the same like sublimation because all the background has to be gone or it'll print white if you can get it to print. I set this thing up at the end of September. I only, because we were busy, even though I did my daily maintenance every single day, I did what I was supposed to do. I only printed about 16 prints. And we're not even talking 16 sheets of paper. We're talking 16 prints. Only did a handful of prints and the whole machine stopped working one night. I was printing something for my friend because her DTF printer that she had gotten right before me, hers wasn't working. So mine all of a sudden wasn't working. I had to get on to um, a chat line because they do have an after sales service. But that is what your warranty is. When you buy from Alibaba, that is your after sales warranty. You can save thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. You could buy a $20,000 printer overseas for $5,000 sometimes. But the customer service absolutely sucks. I'm just being 120% honest. It sucks. So they're on a different time zone. So I had to get in touch with them. I had to tell them what was wrong. So they have a translator that is in the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the app, the, the, I don't remember which one it is. It's one of those apps. So I had to download that. Then I had to download software. That way they could actually get into my computer and see what the problem was. I kept telling them, I, you know, it's not working. It's not, it's like, it's not connecting all of a sudden, like just as if it wouldn't connect. So this went on for three nights. I'm talking I, they got into my computer. I ran tests. We did all this stuff. It went on because this wouldn't work. Like this wouldn't run back and forth with the ribbon. It would not go back and forth at all. And I kept telling them, you know, it's not my computer because they made me go and buy a thing for a port, which is like this for my computer from USB. And I kept telling them it's not that, it's not that. I even had our friend come over and check it that uh, works on equipment different than this, that, that does robotics. And he said, it is your USB and it's something in your printer. It has nothing to do with your computer. It has nothing to do with this port. So, long story short, 
this went on and I'm kid you not I spent from once it would be their time it'd be 9 p.m. my time until 3 a.m. this went on for three full nights and they finally said it is the USB port so they're gonna send a new one and it was my motherboard and I was like are you kidding me I, it's a brand new printer I've printed it a handful of times that's it I've done nothing to it other than take care of it and it blew the motherboard so I had to wait a good week for that plus I had to pay the shipping for the part even though it wasn't my fault and I had just put the ink in there when you're and I, I kept telling them you know when it sits when your uh, printer sits idle and you're not printing and this can't manually move back and forth you can't move this it messes up your ink so I, once they shipped the part I got on chat with them again and waited and they kept telling me to proceed with it they were trying to walk me through what I was supposed to do I'd watched all kinds of videos about this and you have to take literally take the entire computer apart like printer apart the whole back the whole inside I mean I am not a tech person I am not I know nothing about that kind of stuff that begged them to re let me return it I begged them to let me have a refund I begged them to let me ship it back to them and I would eat the cost nothing that is the only thing that they will do even though it's a brand new printer is they will walk you through it and replace the parts because that is what they will do they won't do anything for you so um, we tried to hook everything up again do this went through all these tests I told them this piece is not fitting this you know the piece that they sent me for the motherboard was this big my motherboard was this big my husband even said look at this I took a picture showed them this does not line up this is not the same size found out they sent me the wrong part it was for a different type of printer totally opposite printer of what I had so had to wait again another two weeks to get my part got my part in um, and we once again went through the chat thing we had to take everything apart in this printer I'm telling you guys you don't ever want to go through that um, and I also had to take the dampers out of this like this piece in here I don't know if you can see this see these this whole thing had to be taken out also because where the white ink had sat and, the, and even though I was manually pulling it through because you have these syringes and I manually kept trying to feed it through um, something happened the black ink on the back came through it it was a disaster I had to clean I had to take all that out buy some special cleaner and clean it oh my gosh you don't want to do that you don't want to have to go through that every now and then you'll have to do that but not in a brand new printer so long story short we got it all back together it still wasn't working it was slamming into the side my husband on his own figured out what it was it had to do with the ribbons and all this kind of stuff um, we finally got it working and it has taken weeks to get the collar to even print the correct way I f and then I got air pockets inside the lines of the thing it has been a nightmare an absolute nightmare I'm finally able to print a little bit it's not like it was when I initially printed but um, when I first got it to print right after it, it wouldn't stick and I did everything because you have to use your oven you have to do everything I don't know what was going on with it we're finally getting it back to working a little bit but I'm telling you I got a discount on mine my friend paid three thousand dollars for hers thirty thirty five hundred dollars for hers guys don't do it do not do it I would say take the risk if you can convert one I think they do the maybe they, they do the 8550s I think it is they convert them I was even reached out to about trying to convert one um, from a company that manufactures them um, in the United States and um you know you you void the warranty on it but let me tell you if it's a 400 hundred dollar printer that you can convert yourself versus paying three thousand dollars for a printer that is like prone to failure go that route because here's the thing i talked to several people and this is like i said my opinion this is me talking to different companies and like very one of them is a very 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 respected company he is the he is the regional sales manager he said listen to me i'm going to tell you the truth no matter what desktop version printer you buy and i'm not saying that people don't have success with them i'm not saying that because somebody might be watching they may have had no issues um he said they are prone to failure they are not made the same way as the newer like the big industrial size ones obviously and they're every single one no matter if it's converted epson if it is a one bought overseas they're just prone to having issues and failure especially the motherboard 
and like I said this happened within 16 prints so I was depending on this for my business and it just stopped working after it literally had just started working so do your research if you're going to buy something like that I just highly highly recommend you do your research or buy transfers you can find companies that sell them at prices that you can afford and you can buy them and I have tons of friends that actually sell them I'm going to eventually get into selling them but I'll probably have to outsource that because this thing runs so slow you would never it takes literally 20 some minutes to print one sheet and then you got to powder it and cure it in the oven for like two minutes so make sure make sure make sure make sure you do your research because I just don't want someone else investing that type of money their hard-earned money and that was a huge expense I cried my eyes out because it was a huge expense um, for me to to invest in something that just didn't work and no matter what I did and begged and, and reached out to every manager possible with that company and reached out to every person that I could to help me to help me reimburse or let me get it fixed nothing that is what their customer service is on overseas products like that so it is much more expensive to buy in the United States but you have a warranty with most companies but then the honest truth is like they've told me before people that i know in this business they buy them overseas but the thing is they know how to fix them so that is the difference you're going to pay more but you're going to come with a warranty over here but honestly you know like i said if i were to do this all over again I would have never ever bought this I wouldn't have I would have either saved up until one day if my business grows and I can get a building and get a big industrial one um, then I would have done that or just buy transfers and make it because it's that much easier and it and it doesn't require all this cost and this headache and I can't tell you like the agonizing days that I went through with this printer I just don't want anybody else to go through that so I'm not trying to be negative I'm trying to be completely transparent with you guys it is not worth it um, I've talked to I'm in several groups with DTF printing people and I mean like huge amounts of members they professionally print the gang sheets the huge rolls and sell them that's their business I mean tons of them in the group have huge commercial printers they know everything about it they know how to fix them they know the technical aspects of it they know everything and they've all said these models are just junk it is like junk and not to buy it and they were sorry that I didn't know that and if I would have gotten in those groups you can find those groups on Facebook there's I mean there's all kinds of them most of them are invite only you gotta go find them I recommend you find information before you invest your money but anyway you guys I um, you know it will eventually work but even the big commercial size ones that are bought overseas with Alibaba and stuff um, one of the salespeople told me you know you know obviously you can go what's cheaper over there but they said they've only known a couple people and it took them a year to get all of the right parts and to get it all lined out and they saved money but it took them a year to get it all established so and it doesn't usually happen so I just wanted to share that with you guys like I said I'm all about positivity but I can't sit back and let someone make the same mistake that I made without knowing firsthand what you might be in store for and and what these things are prone to do and how slow they are and it's just like all of these it's like the l1800 model the r1390 model you know all these types of things are the same desktop models so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you'll stick around i plan to share more stuff about dtf i plan to share eco solvent stuff um sublimation everything related to that to help you guys and just any types of tips that I learned along the way that I couldn't find myself when I was searching but I appreciate you guys hope you give the video a big thumbs up and share it with somebody and I will see you guys in the next one I'll talk to you later bye